this is day three of vlogmas christmas will be here before we even know it today we're going to be talking about sharpness and how a lot of videos online are just way too sharp now what do i mean by an image being too sharp how is it possible for an image to be too sharp take this shot right here for instance hold on let me set this down set this shot up So you see the shot right here of my face, the side of my face. You can literally probably see my pores right now. And this works fine. This is amazing for certain things. For instance, a music video where we're talking about pain, a shot like this is gonna be amazing to do. It's gonna show character. It's gonna give off the painful feel. But you know when this shot is gonna be really bad? When we're filming a female who has on makeup, that's gonna be really bad for her. So these right here are the solution to our too sharp problem. These are diffusion filters by Tiffin. These are Black Pro Mist. These come in tons of different variations. These are like the poor man uh, option. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But these are an option for diffusion. Now what diffusion does for your images, it blooms the whites and it makes for an overall softer image in the highlights. So this is typically gonna work for skin tones. Uh, it's gonna soften out those blemishes that you might find in skins. These are just good for these situations. So right here I have a 1 8 strength and I also have a quarter strength. Now I've yet to determine which one of these are my favorite but I'm sure that I'm gonna integrate both of them into my workflow. And this one will probably be more of a stylistic look because of the increased intensity of diffusion. So let's see what these can do. Words of wisdom. Yo, words of wisdom for today is be confident. You have to be confident with everything that you do. You can't be halfway confident. You can't be halfway sure. You have to be 100% certain that you are amazing at what you do. Your work is going to be amazing. You're going to sell work. You're going to get booked. You're going to do everything that you plan to, and everybody's going to love it. You have to be fully confident. Don't be cocky, but be confident. There's a difference. Being confident, you just believe in yourself. Be confident. For the sake of the vlog and what we're talking about these filters, I'm gonna apply this in a second. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison real quick because to a lot of people, this is gonna look exactly the same with the filter on or off. So let me just pose right here awkwardly for like two or three seconds, hold on. All right, so let's apply the, the filter now and then I'm gonna do that exact same awkward pose again. So hold on for one second. All right. Another aqua pause, hold on. Aside from this just diffusing the whites, it's also lifting the blacks a little bit as well. So like I said, these two images, those two images side by side were using the exact same grade. I didn't adjust them in any way. The test footage you all just saw was from this exact same filter, the 1 4th. I didn't even try the 1 8th. I wanted to use this extremely as possible so you all can even see the difference between the two. Because like I said, a lot of people aren't even gonna be able to distinguish original footage without this on and with the diffusion filter. So if you pay attention to the highlights in the video, you can see that they're just blooming. I can't even explain it. It's like, it's almost like having fog or haze in the room at all times or in a scene at all times. Whenever you have any speck of light in a shot while you're using these filters, you can see that it just blooms them out. It makes them like, I don't know. It's like it, the light wraps around the subject just so well. It's not as definite. If I had my lamp back there cranked up to the maximum amount of output and I was just shooting this without the filter on, you could just see the overexposure of it being so definite. It's like the highlight roll off 
with the diffusion filter just looks a lot better. Now these filters aren't exactly cheap and they can get super pricey if you're trying to purchase one for every single lens that you have in your arsenal. I have two tips for you all, two tips to save you a ton of money. Now the first and most practical thing that you can do is you can just purchase one really large filter. That's what I do, that's what I do for my ND filters. I purchase one really large filter, a 77 and above, and I just get step up rings for all my other lenses. These are step up rings. These are individual filter sizes and this is just like building blocks. You detach the one that fits to the size of your lens and then you pile up every single one that is a bigger size than that one to get up to the size of the ND or filter that you purchased. So you buy your one large ND filter or black pro mist, whatever filter that you wanna get and you use the step up rings, really small filter thread and you just build them up until they fit onto the large filter that you've purchased whether that's an ND or a Black Pro Mist. You buy one filter, you don't buy a filter for every single lens, that's just a waste of money. Solution number two to help you all save money is there are tons of DIY options to get this exact same look in your camera and it doesn't matter what camera you're using. They have this really cool trick where you use pantyhoses to achieve the exact same look on any camera, it doesn't matter. I'll leave a link in the description to Film Riot's video on doing the DIY option to achieve this look. So you can go out and buy pantyhoses for a couple dollars and you can just buy one filter. Don't go out and try to buy a filter for every single size thread that you have for every lens that you have. Look guys, this is the end of the vlog. Let me know down in the comments if you can tell the difference between using the diffusion filter and not having the diffusion filter on at all. Go ahead and drop this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out guys.